What's going on y'all? I'm Marcus B. Gaming, and here's a video on how to get the Stars and Shadow Pulse Rifle and some God Roll Opinions. Thanks for clicking and for more vids like this, hit the sub button and the bell. Let's go. Shadow's a high impact frame that shoots at 340 RPM. This means it might shoot slower than other pulse types, but this solar rifle hits like you talked about its mama. It also gets more accurate when you stand still and aim. Its range and stability are decent, but add more and add some handling and it's all good. You get this as a random legendary ingram drop, or from completing activities like strikes, crucible, or gambit. When it comes to perks, look for arrowhead break for plus 10 handling and good recoil control. Chamber Compensator adds 10 to stability and recoil control while taking 5 handling. Corkscrew Rifling puts on 5 range, stability, and handling. Fluted Barrel is 5 more to stability and 15 to handling. Hammer Forge Rifling is 10 to range. Polygon Rifling is the same to stability. And Small Bores plus 7 to range and stability. In the mag, Accurized Rounds adds 10 to range. Tactical Mag is plus 5 stability, a bigger mag, and a faster reload. Alloy Mag reloads quick when you're empty, and Flare Magwell gives 5 more stability and a quicker reload. In the next slot, Firmly Planted increases accuracy, stability, and handling when you crouch. Surplus boosts handling, reload, and stability for each ability you have charged. Killing Wind rewards kills with more mobility, range, and handling for a few seconds. Feeding Frenzy lets you reload faster based on rapid kills and Outlaw gives a quick reload for a precision kill. In the last slot, Disruption Break makes enemies take more kinetic damage for a little after breaking the shield. Eye of the Storm gives more accuracy and handling as your health drops. Kill Clip boosts damage for reloading after a kill. Head Seeker gives more precision damage after landing body shots. Moving Target increases move speed and target acquisition while moving when aiming. Thresh will charge your super a little for kills. Demolitionist charges your grenade for kills and using your grenade reloads the gun. Dragonfly makes enemies go boom for precision kills. And Vorpal Weapon does more damage to vehicles, bosses, and Super Saiyan Guardians. For PvE, I'll take Arrowhead or Small Boar, Tactical Mag or Flare Magwell, Surplus or Feed and Frenzy, and Kill Clip, Thresh, or Vorpal Weapon. For PvP, Polygon or Rifling or Small Boar, Accurize or Tactical Mag, Surplus, Killing Wind, or Outlaw, and Kill Clip, Head Seeker, Moving Target, or Thresh. This baby is just as good and maybe even better than Cold Denial. And with all the perks in the pool, there's just so many damn good rolls out there. But these are just my opinions though. Let me hear yours in the comments. I hope this helps. And if it does, like, shares, and subs help the channel. And if you want to show even more love, you can become a channel member or a patron for exclusive rewards or even hit the cash app. No pressure though. Thanks. I'm out.